What's up guys, it's Maxwell with the video to end my season inside the Legends League. So yeah guys, I'm going to do a quick recap on my season so far. We are going to check out a couple of attacks. I think I still have a pretty, couple pretty cool ones saved up. Let's start with 3 star right here, why not? Um, yeah, and I'm going to talk a little bit about my thoughts and about uh, how it was for me uh, to be in Legends League for a season again. So um, obviously I pushed up playing relatively casually, but uh, whenever you are getting into Legends League, you sort of uh, get engaged at least when you are a little bit greedy like I definitely am. So um, yeah, I ended up pushing pretty hard, ended up spending a lot of daytime in the clouds. Um, yeah, first pushing up, I felt it like it went pretty smoothly up to about 5300 trophies then I sort of hit the first wall like within 10-15 um, days into the season I hit that first wall went a little bit slow um, took longer to find bases but then it got a little bit better again I pushed up to about 5500 trophies and actually got a new personal trophy high which was nice that was really fun um, yeah and then I hit another wall at 5500 and I just for some reason took forever to find bases um i've like for example today is obviously the last day in the season so everybody's probably shielded but i've been in the clouds for four hours today and i have not found a single base so that's pretty insane and um, yeah that really makes it uh not so fun to be honest it's cool to find the base like every 20 30 minutes or even uh, once in an hour I'm, I'm cool with that um sometimes you, uh, obviously being higher up you also get uh, matched up with higher players as you can see this guy was pretty low uh, in titans one so um, i couldn't gain a lot of trophies from him um but uh yeah um being higher up in trophies uh, oftentimes you get up matched up with legends as well and with some high level players and then uh, at about 5500 whenever you found a base that was usually a pretty good base but um you just could not find bases towards the end of the season like the last three or four days the struggle was so so big with finding bases and um yeah to me it's just uh i'm sort of a uh, i'm not completely maxed out yet as you guys probably know i still have walls to farm so uh it's pretty nice to be able to attack from time to time just to be able to progress with your base i would probably care less um if i yeah was completely maxed out but i'm not so um for that reason, I've been thinking a, little, a lot about uh, staying in Legends League or dropping trophies again, and um, I'm going to get to that a bit later. But uh, yeah, as I said, towards the end of the season, the last couple of days, um, at 55 or even now 5,600 trophies, um, you have been, I have been getting lucky once in a while, finding like an awesome base that was worth like 28 trophies. But uh, for the most part, I've just been. Um, yeah, having my iPad in the clouds, uh, looking at clouds and um, yeah, not seeing anything else. I've actually uh, abused my girlfriend to uh, keep my iPad in the clouds when I could not be in the clouds. So uh, it's been pretty insane. I've been going as hard as I can for this push. So uh, I've been in the clouds every day for, uh, I would say on average, maybe three to five hours a day so that's a pretty long time obviously i did not just stare at my ipad for the time i've been working during that time i've been editing videos all that stuff you guys know that i put out a lot of videos on youtube um and as you can see um i had no trouble attacking so i think in my attack log we have a two star three star two star three star this one we did not watch that yet um <laughs> pretty funny uh, the other day we actually had to test some uh, bases inside DLZ, so you guys know we are in a CWL invite, so for that reason, um, sometimes we have to test bases. And this, in this, uh, this case, the guys, uh, our Tunnel 10 base builders, wanted me to test the Tunnel 10 bases against uh, Bewitch uh, dips from Tunnel 11. So uh, they told me to um, train the Bewitch army and then just hit a couple of their bases to see how they would defend. So I cooked up this army and then uh, whenever we were done and we had tested the bases enough, uh, I was like, well, should I just delete this army now? And uh, I've actually seen a, c a couple of um, successful Bewitch attacks, Town 11 versus Town 11 lately. So I said, what the heck, let's go to multiplayer and see if we can find something. And I actually found this base pretty quickly. And then, as you can see, I was actually able to three star. So uh, that was pretty funny um, with a different army. I, I think, uh, considering this, I would probably still stick to Lavaloon if I had to make a choice between Lavaloon and Bewitch. Although Bewitch has 
a little bit bigger potential to three star i think especially since everybody's gearing their bases against the loon so um yeah there's upsides there's downsides but um yeah, as I told you guys, I have not uh, had any problems raiding. I haven't failed to dip. Um, I haven't failed an attack inside Legends League at all. Um, so, um, yeah, it's not like I lost a bunch of trophies or something. It's just been so rough uh, on finding the bases. And that's what really hindered my progress. So, um, yeah, that really makes the game different uh, i mean for me i could probably say well i don't care i've got uh, three accounts i've got uh, this channel 11 that is obviously nearly maxed out i've got a channel 10 that is uh, almost match up ready now i've got a town hall 9 that is almost match up ready you can probably watch this one as my biggest trophy gain inside my attack log so um i could say well i don't care but to be honest this is my main account this is the account i started playing on and i really want to get it super max so i want to get all my walls up to max as well and for that reason i'm actually going to drop trophies uh, after the season so the season ends in eight hours which is why i'm recording the video now just so that i can show you guys my trophy count as you can see my shield is about to expire so uh, i'm going to be kicked offline soon and then i'm probably going to lose a lot of trophies again um yeah i'm going to drop after the season and i'm going to be farming my walls also that will allow me to play more casually i won't have to keep my ipad in the clouds for hours and hours also i use this uh, ipad to um, edit um thumbnails and stuff at times so sometimes it's a real pain you don't want to back out of the clouds because you want to find bases on the other hand you really need your ipad to um yeah edit stuff so for that reason that's all reasons for me that uh yeah made me want to drop because um yeah i just really can't afford it i mean i whenever i log on i need to be able to do two or three quick attacks get some loot and get out there uh and i think that's just the way to go for me for right now um as you guys can see, I'm at 5,637 trophies, so that was uh, how high I was able to push. I actually pushed a bit higher, as you can see, my new personal trophy high is 5,652. That's 200 trophies higher than my personal uh, high before the season, I think, th I think so. That's pretty solid. Um, as I said, I did, uh, did it as hard as I could, and I could not get higher than 5,650. That was just a cap for me. Let's take a look where that puts me. Um, obviously, um, the top players in the world are at 6,200. So I have no idea how these guys do it. They are 600 trophies higher than me. Um, yeah, awesome stuff, but uh, no idea how they do it. In Germany, the top players are at uh, 6,086 trophies. And let's find out where I am real quick. It looks like I am... Yeah, well, just outside the the top 200 in Germany. So inside the top 300, I'm probably going to get kicked out uh, of that again if I um, yeah lose the next defense, which I'm probably going to. So um, that's going to be a bit rough. But um, yeah, I I'm overall pretty happy. As I said, I played well. I didn't fail attacks. And um, this was just how high I was able to get. By the way, I used this base on defense, guys. I recommend using this base. It's really awesome. I actually had a couple of defenses within the last uh, uh, couple of days that um, were defenses where I defended. I'm going to show you, my guys, my def defense log. Let's check this one out, for example. I had won 18 trophies on defense. I did not build this base. I copied it from another Legends League player. And it seems to work out really awesome. So I definitely recommend you guys try it out. I'm going to throw the traps on the screen um, towards the end again so you guys can... Um, pause the video and build the base if you want to this base works really well if you guys are going to stay inside legends league i can definitely recommend using this space because yeah it works pretty good um i personally uh, wouldn't want to attack it either um as you can see the sweepers are both pointing down a lot of guys obviously still attacking with the loon and the bombs are all over here the air bombs so that's um pretty bad for an air attacker in this case you can see i got attacked with uh, spam bowlers and boom they run right into two giant bombs and this guy actually what did he do with his warden or oh, he did the the warden walk with the queen so um yeah for that reason he could not save his bowlers from the giant bomb and um yeah that definitely spelled bad news for him and 80 30 38 percent and he lost that attack on my base um which was definitely nice and uh, of course also unexpected and um yeah so that was awesome and i actually had another defense so this one uh when did uh, this happen this happened um one day and 20 hours ago and check that out the i didn't didn't i as you can see i had one more defense right here i think that was with a different base 
But the one just prior to that one, uh, plus 18, I got 17 trophies on defense actually with the same base as you can see. There go the Lava Hounds and you will be able to see the Black Bombs, there they go. Two Black Bombs and then the Red Bombs. Those Red Bombs are placed a little bit towards the outside on purpose because I want to catch the Balloons with that and not the Lava Hounds. And then for this one I actually had the real Clan Castle. I, most of the time, to be honest, I did not fill my Clan Castle on defense. I just went with whatever, La Luna or something. And also I did not have my Queen active on defense because I wanted to have her for offense. So I've not been defending that seriously, but in this case the Dragons were able to roast the Balloons and my troll base sort of worked out and I won another defense, which was pretty sweet obviously. So um, yeah, this space is pretty cool. Definitely try it out. And I think if you fill the clan castle properly, you have a pretty good chance at um, winning defenses. Actually, in this case, I was in Zaubazis. Uh, shout out to Zaubazis. I was hanging out there as well. And yeah, cool clan. But yeah, that's going to be it. That's my thoughts. As you guys can see, I need walls. Uh, I need to max out walls. And I definitely want to max those out. And uh, for that reason, I'm going to drop trophies. So... GG Legend, Legends League, I, I could handle it for one season, but now it's getting a little bit rough for me. So I'm going to drop again, and that's going to be it for the push for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I did two or three videos on trophy pushing. So um, yeah, a little bit of trophy pushing content back on the channel. And um, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Until the next video, I will see you all later. Peace out.